Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at, I'm gonna walk through how to install the Auto Brake Trailer Brake Controller. And when we think about a, a brake controller, a traditional brake control that mounts inside the vehicle, the Auto Brake is a little bit different. It's gonna give you all the same functions, except it can be mounted on any trailer. Like today, we have it mounted on a teardrop. With your traditional brake controllers, you have to do a lot of wiring inside the vehicle. Um, you have to find a brake signal. You may have to run a seven pole with wiring if you don't have it. Uh, you're gonna have to drill into your dash to mount the brake controller. With this unit, mounts on the trailer, the only thing you have in the cab of your vehicle is this little controller. The nice thing about this brake controller being mounted on the trailer, that means anybody can tow this trailer, as long as they have four pole or seven pole wiring. If for any reason somebody borrows the trailer, has an in-cab brake controller, it's gonna allow that person to use the in-cab brake controller and this unit will go to sleep. It can be mounted in any orientation and it can be used from one axle up to three axles. It has an LED indicator light right in the middle and that's gonna tell you what function you're in. So depending on your axles, you can push either A or B. That will change the function for however many axles you have on your trailer. As far as the installation process, very simple and straightforward. It's going to come with the self-tappers to mount the unit to the trailer. Uh, the only thing you will have to provide yourself are the ring terminals for your junction box. Uh, in your instructions, it's going to tell you what each function of the color wires are for, so it makes it easy to hook up to the trailer. If this is something you may not have the time or space to do, you can always check out our dealer locator and find someone near you that is able to put it in for you. If it is something that you want to give it a try, I promise you, it's simple to do and you can do it in no time. Follow along with me and I'll walk you how to do it. So to start your installation, um, this can be mounted on any trailer. We're gonna be installing it on a teardrop trailer today. Uh, you need to locate your junction box and make sure you test your wires to determine the proper colors for the proper wires. And then you need to mount your brake controller. It's gonna come with two self-tappers. It can be mounted in any orientation. Once you do that, the end of your wires are all gonna be pre-stripped. The kit is not gonna come with the ring terminals. You need to provide those yourself. So I've already tested the wires and all my wire colors on the trailer match the wire colors and functions on my uh, controller. One thing I will stress, you wanna make sure you do not mount this ground wire to the positive, even by accident, because you will void the warranty on the unit. We'll start with our blue wire, which is our brake output. From here, brown will go to brown, red will go to red, black is our power wire, ground will be on the end there. The red and brown are gonna be your right and left turn signals. Once you get your wires connected, you're gonna have a loom clamp to secure your excess wire up so it's not hanging down. Next thing we need to do is we need to calibrate the controller. So we don't need to be hooked up. What we do need to do is hook our seven pole up. Once you got your seven pole hooked up, you're gonna hit your on button or your key to the on position in the truck or the car. You're gonna turn your lights to manual on and you're gonna turn your flashers on. Then the two buttons on the top of the controller, you're gonna push and hold until that light lights up a solid red. Once the LED light turns completely off, press B button on top of the auto brake box quickly and release. Count the number of flashes to determine the setting. So we've got three flashes, that means we're in setting three. So once you determine what setting you're in, if you wanna change it, we're gonna be changing it to one since we have one axle. You can press either A or B. Single slow flash, that's gonna be one. Once we get it set to where we want, we can turn the 
tow vehicle off and the flashers off. Once you have the unit calibrated, I recommend taking it out for a ride using the controller or the key fob to set your brake pressure for the size trailer you're towing. When you're out testing it uh, to set your brakes, use a plus or minus on the key fob to either raise or lower your gain. So not only do you control the brake pressure by the plus or minus, but either one of the buttons can be used for the manual override. Once you've tested everything out, you've got it set up where you want it, you're ready to go. It's gonna do it for a look at an installation of the auto brake trail brake controller.